Okay, another teardown video. This one is of the uh, newer Cree uh, BR30 LED bulb. This is a 9 watt bulb uh, and it's about half the cost of the previous bulb. Um, and uh, I thought we'd take a look into it and uh, check build quality and uh, see what LEDs they're using. Okay, so here's the bulb. Um, I took it out of its packaging. And a uh, usual A base right there. It's actually a it's in I think E12 or E I forgot whatever number it is, but it's the standard base you find in uh North America. And uh it's pretty much the same size and overall shape, or at least very similar to um, a BR-30. So this one in particular is a little off-center for some reason, a little defect. Uh, but uh, yeah, in order to get into this I'm probably going to have to break this, so we'll do that. Okay, so I've uh, just smashed the bulb open and there's this um, a little interesting addition to, to there being two LEDs in there. Uh, there's a um, interesting, maybe they're uh, like almost silicone like material that um, I don't know, maybe might be used for reflection. That's the only thing I could think for it because it's not holding anything down. Well, don't know. Okay, so I uh, broke all the glass off, and uh, here's our LED ray. Uh, it's a bit different than Cree's other designs, or designs in the, in the previous versions of Cree's LED bulbs used um, a filament tower type of ray. This is different. Uh, this is, in fact, very different. This is just using two pretty big looking LEDs. I'm guessing there's several, several watts piece, and it's just on a um, thin. Well, this appears to be on a thin aluminum base PCB onto the heatsink. So we'll take a deeper look in this and see what's inside the power supply. Okay, so I finally got the uh, aluminum cap off. It just uh, kind of pops off. Well, it's quite hard. You can see if all the um, of that. Uh, but uh, I got the cert the uh, LED arrays circuit board off, and uh, here's then here's the two LEDs. Um, and it's on this rather thin, but pretty flexible uh, circuit board that just kind of folded up and connected into um, right about uh, on these connectors over here on the circuit board uh, but anyway the circuit board's potted partially I don't know if you can see that yeah there it is um, and uh, it's gonna be a bit of a pain to get out so I'll be right back when that's out. Okay, so I got all the thermal potting off. And uh, here's the uh, main driver circuit, I guess you call it. Um, uh, there's a, here's an electrolytic capacitor right here. You got your, uh, I think this is a choke. There's some uh, conductive emissions. Stuff over here, like for the, like the inductor and these capacitors. There's an metal oxide resistor over here, a fuse, full wave rectifier, and there's your controller chip. Um, take a little better close better look at that. Um, so yeah, it looks like a standard, I guess, power supply you'd find, and it's. What I really expected from a company like Cree. 
Um, so yeah, good. It's only single sided though. Now one thing I forgot to mention, uh, the capacitor on this is rated for 105 degrees C. So yeah, that's what's inside the uh, new Cree uh, BR30 bulb. And it's turned out to be quite a bit of a mess.